remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? There's absolutely no doubt that the sanctity of marriage is under attack. Nick Cannon is not a friend of marriage. Nick, as you know, was once married to Mariah Carey. He got two kids out of the deal. But he said, basically, that the marriage took a toll on him. He said, I barely survived. He posed the question, if you jump out of an airplane, and it didn't work out. Why would you do it again? He said, I'm good on that. What do you think, family? Is it over? Is marriage, the idea of marriage, is that over? He did say that he's a hopeless romantic and he would like to continue to be, to have relationships, but he don't think that those relationships require marriage. He don't see the benefit. Switching gears a little bit, Nicole TV, ran by Kayla Nicole. She is getting dragged for some comments that she made on Twitter. Her comments, 70% of African-American children are born out of wedlock. Please break the cycle of making bastards. Make marrying a traditional belief again. Okay, what do you think about that, fam? I'm going in. If a white person had called black children born out of wedlock bastards, every single black person with a platform or voice who claims to care about the black community would be up in arms. These people are already doing a damn good job negatively stereotyping us by themselves. They're already doing a great job dragging our image across the globe by themselves. They don't need no damn help from us. We got to stop being so damn emotional. We cannot afford to regurgitate white supremacist talking points. We got to get on code. There's an old saying, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. There's a saying that I have, don't let everybody know everything you're thinking. You dig what I'm saying? See, everything is not for public consumption. All too often, I see black people who are critical of black people and they will not hesitate to go in and spew negativity about the black community or members of the black community. No other race, I repeat, no other race, no other group of people does that. You can't find another group that does that. Also, these statistics, bear in mind that many of the people that you have a problem with that is involved in this systemic racism that benefits from it, they are also producing the data that says, Oh, black people this. Uh, black people ain't doing well this. Black people at the bottom of this. Black people at the bottom of that. And oftentimes it's easy for us to get caught up in the numbers because they have a pension. And this has been going on for a long time. And using their best as an example of their best and using our worst as an example of our best. You understand what I'm saying? They use their best as an example of who they are collectively, and they use our worst as an example of who we are collectively. So this is why anytime somebody black jumps out there and do something stupid, they are quick to highlight it. When you watch the news and something happens in the streets, who do they go to? The person who's absolutely 
is the worst in communications. Broken English. Badly can put two words together. These are the type of people that they will go to and put the mic in their face and the camera in their face because they want to prove to everybody else that we are somehow deficient. We are somehow inferior. We are uneducated. We are uncouth. So as they put these images out here, not only do non-blacks believe them, they are so effective that even some black people believe it. And this is what I think is going on because marriage is not a popular thing nowhere in America right now. Why go out of your way to single out black people? You dig what I'm saying? That's not cool. That, that ain't cool at all. Also, I'm not a fan of calling innocent children bastards. Why is it important for us, one of our own, to spew a statistic like that and to call innocent children bastards that are in our community, to be specific about our community and call those within our community bastards? Now, of course, you'll have those that say, well, you know, she is right. You know, I know more people that are having babies out of wedlock than are having traditional marriages. And yes, you can say that a child that is uh, being raised in a single parent household uh, has it way worse than a child who would be raised in a two parent household in most cases. Statistics have shown, and I think I think we that we we can all agree to that. You know, the child that is raised in a single parent household is more likely to drop out of school early, more likely to get pregnant early, more likely to have uh, uh, insufficient uh, financial uh, stability, uh, all of these type of things. So we understand that, but why is it necessary for us, black folks? to highlight, to go out of our way, to highlight our worst. Nobody else reminds people of their worst. Like we will, like everybody, we, we all know that everybody is fucked up. All races, all groups got fucked up people in it. We all understand this. But nobody else go out of their way to remind the general public of the fuck upness that is within their community. They try to sweep it under the rug and hide it from everybody else while they work on it privately. But they are not getting out in public spewing negativity and reminding people of how messed up they are in certain areas. They're not going to do that. Why do black people feel so damn compelled to do that? And you got other black people that be, well, you know, it is true, dumbass. We, that's not the question, is it, is it true or not? There are a lot of things that are true that people don't talk about in public. I'm sure Nicole herself has some things about her that is true that she don't want nobody to know. And she ain't going to say that. It's true, but she not saying it. Just because something is true don't mean you have to say it. Just because you feel a certain way don't mean you have to verbalize it. We got to get over this notion that we are keeping it real just because we say what's on our mind. That is not an attribute. That is a fault. This is another example of when keeping it real goes wrong. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.